I've just finished the final stage in my stewed preserved pears with cinnamon, brandy. I've actually added a little bit of cracked black pepper, orange rind, bay leaves, cardamom, uh, as I say, good glug of brandy, granulated sugar. I showed you all the processes about the, the skin being left and quarter, quartering the pears. Uh, eight pounds of pears I put in just over four pounds of sugar. Um, as I say, we have different terms in England to, to America and various other parts of the globe for what we call preserves. Tonight I have actually made, um, it's in between I guess a sort of a pickle and what other people may call a preserve. The, the shelf life on these in these sterilised jars will be approximately two years. Um, just before canning or jarring my pears, I did remove all the scum from the pears. That's something you do not want in your preserves. Um, you've just got to literally get a metal spoon and just keep going around the outside of your jam pan or whatever pot you're using and make sure all the scum is removed. Um, if you get any in the jars, just take it straight off. You can see now these are jarred beautifully. They're looking absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pleased. It's a lovely, thick, thick preserve. There's whole pears still in here. As you can see, lots and lots of whole pears. Um, really quite beautiful. Uh, well, one never knows how, how these uh, events turn out. Sometimes it's triumphant, sometimes we know we wish we'd never begun. Um, having spent a day at a private rheumatologist because I suffer with chronic arthritis, uh, my dream was to pursue cooking. Um, I wasn't expecting the best of news today, and I certainly wasn't uh, given great news. However, it's made me more motivated than ever that living with uh, various conditions and poor health should not be the caveat to stop us fulfilling the things that we aspire to. For me, it's always been cooking, making other people happy with my food, be it humble offerings or be it for the more advanced cook, the more elaborate dishes, the more um, exotic fruits, vegetables, etc. It doesn't matter. Um, every one of us is capable of cooking. We all make mistakes and we need to understand that. We need to take precautions. We need to make sure we've got the right equipment, that we stop ourselves from burning ourselves, we've got to wear the right oven gloves, we've got to get the right temperatures, and we need to continually clean it down after ourselves. We don't want to see knives pointing at you know, the wrong angle, we don't want pairs of scissors left on tops of cookers. We just need to make sure we, we, we look after ourselves. Um, that is it for this evening. I'm afraid I'm not feeling at my best. I hope you've enjoyed this a uh, small video on preserving, I've actually used conference pears. I hope you all have a lovely evening or a wonderful day and I'll be back around the same time tomorrow for hopefully doing my pickled mangoes. Take care, have a good one. Bye.